the Robisma project uh, has launched its cafe talks, and this is our third cycle, um, which was sustainability. Um, and the Robismo uh, project has been about trying to find new ways, new um, business models and enabling new business model development uh, for especially food, bio-based and ecosystem services. Um, and you can find more on the Robismo webpage where uh, there are tools available already. Uh, and um, this, this uh, cir circle, the three, uh, the four, this four uh, opportunities you have now at 11 every Tuesday, you have three speeches and then a virtual visit, which is going to be to Italy. And the first one today is with Camille, and you have suggested your own title, how to integrate sustainable issues in SME business models. The floor, Camille, is all yours. Thank you. Uh, I will open to the presentation. Up. Okay, perfect, so let's go. Uh, yeah, we will talk about sustainable development for small and medium company. Uh, just more context, uh, you all know that the world is changing. Uh, I don't know if you did this kind of test on talent, but uh, we are consuming like uh, resources for three planets. We will need three planets uh, to answer our needs. So we need to encourage, for example, circular economy. Uh, you all know extinction of bees, of insects, and this is an amazing cost for agriculture because the most important part of our food system is depending on these insects. So we need to protect biodiversity. I will go very quickly in this context because you all know more or less that uh, the bill of energy is quite amazing. And some people are comparing uh, the cost uh, and the number of deaths because of pollution with the number of deaths of COVID. So it's quite an important issue for Europe. Um, burnout is really at work an important issue too. Uh, we really need to ensure good working condition for employees. Uh, financial system, there is many like manifestation against uh, financial system because there is no integration of negative externalities in this system. So maybe we have to change uh, our man. And of course, global warming. So I don't know if you know that. Um, like 10, 20,000 years ago, it was the last age. Uh, so four degrees less than today. And Europe was were like that, more or less. So with uh, ice in a uh, silver border of UK and France. And uh, there is the, the, so it's not a good one, but here in France, there is a Coscar cave and you can see penguin in this Coscar cave. So near Marseille, uh, I don't know if you know the weather there now, but it's really not the same. So you can imagine the world with four degrees less. So I let you imagine the world with four degrees more. And for the moment, uh, with um, our global warming uh, expectation, it's four degrees less uh, more in minimum. So we all uh, have a role to play. We all need to do something for that. And also company and obviously small company because there is more small companies than big company. And if each of us uh, is uh, is doing something. Uh, if everybody is taking this challenge, uh, we can really change things. So it's what we will talk about today. Uh, I will do a very short uh, explanation of sustainable development. And after we'll talk of what is important even for a small company and what you can do. So maybe 10 minutes about examples that you can do uh, in your company, whatever is your business model. Uh, sustainable development, you all know this kind of graph. Uh, it's a mix of um, like how you can do money, so profits, preserving planet, environmental resources, everything, and um, people, so the social issue, well-being of people. So if you do a sustainable project, it's a mix of having money, preserving environment, and preserving humans in general, and that is sustainable. You really need the three, the three, the three thematics, the three issues. Uh, just for your information, there is the ISO 26000. It's the most important um, standard uh, for sustainable development. So if you need to refer to something, 
just check this ISO. I will not develop there, but this is the most international uh, reference on that. And the other one is uh, the Sustainable Development Goals of United Nations. Um, you can see in many places now uh, these 17 goals and these colors, uh, this image. Uh, so this is a Sustainable Development for World uh, from the uh, United Nations. So that's also something you need to know. Uh, you have all the information on ISO on this one on internet. I will not develop there. So what's it? Um, a sustainable company. Uh, it's really difficult to have everything sustainable, but you can try to have like a sustainable business model or sustainable uh, way to, to do some stuff. So for example, uh, here you have uh, a brand uh, with a clean label, eco design product, or factories working on management of energy and water. And some examples, for example, Patagonia, uh, I will that. Uh, the, it's uh, an advertisement of Patagonia. Say, don't buy the jacket. That can be weird to say, okay, don't buy our product. But they want to say, okay, if you already have one, two, seven jackets, you don't need to buy this one because you don't need another jacket. But if you need a jacket, buy our jacket because it's better quality. I will, you will don't have to buy one every year, for example. So it's a sustainable way to think your product. Uh, Camille, for example, it's an example in France. Uh, it's a company producing furniture and they were in bankrupt some years ago and they say, okay, we will change our business model. And now they are producing French good quality uh, furniture. And I think the business model is quite acceptable now. So sustainable development saves this company. And another one is Who is the Boss? Uh, Who is the Boss is a brand in France asking um, a consumer what they want to buy. So they want to buy a milk with, uh, I don't know, 200 uh, days of pasture, uh, this kind of food for cow, uh, this kind of products, uh, not big farm. And they say, okay, we, are, we agree to pay one euro for this bottle. And so the Who is the Boss is proposing um, uh, the product according to the willingness of the consumer. So there is some uh, survey on uh, on internet and as consumer, you can say, okay, I want that and that and that in my product, but I don't want to pay more than that. And so you can see if it's possible or not. So that's example, but there is many other ones. Um, sustainable development, so why it's important in your company? Uh, obviously for the image, but you will say, okay, but there is too much greenwashing. Yes, but you can also do sustainable development without doing any greenwashing, that's possible. But there is other things that image and um, that can be important for other things. For example, because of the law, there is, you all know that many, many different law texts at European or country level about sustainable development, about biodiversity, about waste, about water, energy management, all these kind of things, greenhouse gas emission. And it's always better to anticipate to be the first one. So you are like quite famous because you are the first one and you are an example than to say, okay, we have two weeks uh, to do three uh, different audits and try to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. It's really not the same like, way to do. Uh, consumers, consumers, uh, we are doing green flex a study every year of uh, the, the expectation of consumers. And years ago, they were saying, okay, our first problem is else and now they say okay it's else but also environment and this is a very important issue uh, so to answer the need of consumer and the expectation you need to do sustainable sustainable development but not also consumers if you are only working in b2b relation it's the same thing uh, we work with a company they said okay we lost our three last contract because of our uh, sustainable strategy, but we want three other ones because of thanks to our sustainable strategy, uh, because they, they knew, they learn how to, to explain what they are doing and they try to organize their strategy. Uh, and there is more and more like a company asking their uh, suppliers uh, value chain uh, information about sustainable development. Civil society, if you are small, you don't have so much risk to have Greenpeace in front of your door, but I already saw in my uh, former life, uh, Greenpeace in front of my door and it was not like very comfortable. So 
it's also good to do sustainable development for that. Uh, investor, like quite all investors are now asking sustainable information uh, and not only economic information. And obviously, uh, well-being of our employees. Uh, we have many people uh, who want to work in green tech just because we are proposing a sustainable business model. And so they say, I want to do something uh, with a positive impact and not just do something. So uh, it's also very important to say, okay, we have value and we want uh, to fight for this value in our company. So now, more concrete example. Uh, we will talk about climate, biodiversity, and resources. Uh, for climate, yeah, you have many, many different things you can do in your company, uh, and it's not so complicated. So the first thing is the management of emails. Uh, I will not read all the figure, but uh, for example, the pollution of spam. So spam are consuming more energy that, than two million American families. And so you can uh, install uh, anti-spam weapon. Uh, you can also delete your email. You can uh, have a drive and send the link, link on the, of the drive and not a big document to 25 people. Uh, you can limit the number of video, use, use a chat and not send email just to say thank you, but chat, chat it's more like uh, it's consuming less energy. And this energy is more or less because of data center, not only but uh, it's because of that that uh, the internet pollution is quite consuming. You can also uh, choose ecological data host. I'm not an expert of this, of this part, uh, but uh, you can check on internet if your data center is more or less green or not. Uh, the other thing is your energy supplier. Uh, I don't know if there is in other country, but I suppose that yes. Uh, in France, we have every year an analyze of green tea. Uh, about bank, so you can see if you have if you have a good bank or not, and about energy supplier. Um, so you can check if your energy supplier is proposing a sustainable uh, renewable energy, for example. And it's quite easy to change. Sometimes it's a little bit more expensive, but it's quite easy to change for a better one. And other small thing, you can monitor your energy uh, in your building. You can reduce. Uh, the temperature, or you can change, for example, the bulb uh, to reduce, uh, to have less consuming equipment. So that's all for energy. But there is another thing about climate. It's obviously the travel. So thanks to COVID, uh, we learned to work without taking plane for one hour meeting in the other side of the world. So that's a good thing. So you, if you need to do a conference in the USA, maybe you just can use your Zoom and not... Uh, like a plane, uh, and that can be a good thing. So I hope it's a good. I hope we will learn for the future and keep this way to do. Um, but also, you can have a, like encourage a cycling or sharing car to go at work. These kind of things. It's not so complicated to do, uh, and you will have a very positive impact. And generally, it's not only positive impact on energy or greenhouse gas emission, but also also in the well-being of your employee. And the last one, uh, it's not an ex, um, like an easy example. It's a greenhouse gas uh, emission review. Just to explain you, I don't know if you are all very confident with that. So to measure your carbon footprint, uh, you have a methodology, a global standard methodology, uh, with scope one, two, and three. Scope one, it's uh, you measure your emission in your company, so your installation and equipment. And scope two, it's a uh, it's um, energy you are consuming. Uh, generally, companies are doing only scope one and two, but the, your most important impact is in your value chain, upstream and downstream. Um, and so you have to measure also the scope three uh, to try to reduce your impact in all the value chain. Uh, so it's, for example, um, the, the service you will have, uh, transportation, uh, all the raw materials, uh, and all the final of your products. And sometimes it's like 100 more important than scope one and three. So just to know that. So you can do your greenhouse gas emission and generally company who are do, which are doing that will propose you some solution to reduce uh, your impact. Biodiversity, it's not easy, I can confess, if you are in the middle of Paris or somewhere in the middle of a big city in Europe, but you can still do something. So for example, in Greenflex, uh, we adopt a tree 
Obviously, you can say, okay, I want to adopt the tree in front of my building. And so we have a big patch of flower near, near our tree. So it's a small thing you can do. Uh, but you can also try to put flowers uh, to have like a house for birds. Uh, and if you have more space, uh, you can try to do like a diagnosis to have a green continuity in your company. Uh, there is many, many, many different things you can do uh, managing your green space uh, to encourage biodiversity. And that also have a very uh, major impact of the well-being in your, of your employee. If you have maybe, I don't know, like uh, just a green space, or if you have this kind of space, it's really not the same thing when you are going to work. And about waste and resources, uh, just like recycling, uh, cigarette or, or every kind of waste, that's not so complicated to put in your office. Uh, but you can also say, okay, we will try to reduce uh, how the paper we will use. So reduce prints, uh, put information about impact of water bills or so, for example. Uh, in Greenflex, we have uh, to wash your hand. Uh, there is a paper just in front of the distributor of, uh, of uh, paper to say, okay, generally people to wash uh, hands are using three paper. Can you do uh, only do, uh, can, you, can you, sorry, only use one or two? And so you have to say, okay, me, I am able to use only one. So you can reduce your, consum your consumption with this kind of um, like challenge with your employee. And I don't have so much time, uh, but you can also, I, I talk a lot about environment, but there is also many things you can do for the well-being and social issue. So for the well-being, for example, uh, to have plans to organize uh, sport. If you have a room and a video projector, maybe you can just organize something with a video on YouTube, uh, this kind of things. Um, and you can also organize social events. Uh, for example, this year we did a big challenge uh, with a team of five people and each team had to, uh, had to choose a sustainable challenge. Uh, for example, organize a, a workshop about waste, uh, a small webinar, go on the street and uh, like fill a bottle of cigarettes, this kind of thing, this kind of challenge. Uh, so yeah, there is several events during the year uh, you can do for waste, uh, for example, uh, to gather waste in the streets, this kind of things. So, uh, uh, yeah, and to conclude, it's just an example of uh, the kind of things we can have uh, in Greenflex, for example, to say, okay, take the, the, the stairs, it's good for you, or uh, manage your cigarette consumption, uh, reduce uh, the paper. So we have this kind of stickers everywhere in our building. And that's all for me.